Okay, let's talk about factors. Let's just take a simple number to start with, the number 12. What are factors of 12? Well, a factor is basically any number that divides into the number you're trying to factorize. So what numbers go into 12? 1 goes into 12 12 times. We could have 2 by 6. 12 by 1. Or 3 by 4. So all of these numbers go into 12. So all of these numbers are considered to be factors of 12. Now, let's say we have two numbers, 12 plus 24. And we're asked to find the highest common factor of these two numbers. What way do we go about that? Well, one way to think of it is, think of the highest number that can divide into both numbers evenly. So we know a 4 can divide into 12 and 24, but that's not the highest number. The highest number that can divide into both numbers is 12. 12 goes into 12 once, goes into 24 two times. So we can say that the highest common factor of these two numbers, HCF, is 12. So with that in mind, we're going to just have a look at how to factorize algebraic expressions. Now, you probably know already that there is many ways of factorizing algebraic expressions, four main ways. But the first one you should always try is to find the highest common factor. If there is a highest common factor, then you can factorize the algebraic expression really easily. So let's just take uh, a few examples. Let's take 6x squared plus 2x. How do you think we'd find the highest common factor of this, these two terms? Well, we can rewrite it as 3 by 2x by x, because x by x is x squared, 3 by 2 is 6, plus by x. Right? Now you notice 2x are common to both terms. So they are in fact the highest common factors. So I can't really take 2x squared out of both because there's, there's only x on here. I can't take the 3 because there's no sign of a 3 over here. So the only ones that I can take out are the common factors, the 2x and the 2x. So we'll change, we take the 2x out of, out of these two terms, write a bracket, and then we put in the 3x, which is left over, this and this, plus, okay, we've taken the 2x out of this, so all we're left with is 1, because 1 by 2x is 2x. And there you have the expression factorized. If you're not convinced that this is the, the right way of doing it, just check, check it by multiplying out. So we're multiplying mixed terms by mixed terms here. So we multiply first the numbers. 2 by 3 is 6. x by x is x squared. 2x by 1 is plus 2x. So you can see here, this is exactly what we had at the beginning. So that proves that this, these are in fact factors of, of this expression. Okay, that looks a little bit messy, so let's just take another example. 5xy plus 10xz. Again, we can rewrite this like 5x y plus 5 by 2xz. Now we see that there's 5x in common to both. So we can take the 5x out. And 
we're left with the Y here. Plus, and here we're left with the 2 and the Z. So again, these are our factors. One more example. 4A squared B minus 12 A B squared. Again, we can re rewrite this as 4 by A by A by B because A by A is A squared minus 4 by 3 by A by B by B. B by B is B squared. Again, we try to find out what's common. 4 is common and the A is common and the B is common. So we take out the 4AB brackets. Then here we're just left with the A minus and here we're left with 3B this one and this one. So here are your factors again. So on the left you have 4AB which is one factor and on the right you have A minus 3B which is the other factor. So two factors of this expression.